Still happening today. It is expected to be the biggest, biggest day of the year for online shopping. Cyber Monday is here and Rich Demuro has the tips you need to know before checking out. Even through a pandemic, Cyber Monday expected to keep its crown as the biggest online shopping day of the year. Adobe Analytics forecasting $12.7 billion in sales, 35% more than last year. The Consumer Technology Association expects adults to spend an average of $528 on gadgets. There's not much that, that isn't on sale during Cyber Monday. Nathan Burrow is deals editor at the website Wirecutter. A good first stop when looking for Cyber Monday steals. When we post a deal on a given item, it's not only a great price relative to what it usually costs, but it is a quality item. Once you find something you want, price check it. Camel, 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 and Keepa are two good resources. A quick Google shopping search is also a smart thing to do. Bring up the, all the retailers that have it available and just make sure that you're getting a good price relative to other reliable retailers out there. Don't feel pressured to jump on a deal before you research it. Even Amazon's lightning deals generally give you a 15 minute grace period to check out after adding one to your cart. Take advantage of wait lists for the items you really want. And so if another person has added it to the cart and ultimately they don't check out with it, even if it's sold out, you may be able to grab it. And while Amazon, Walmart, Target, and Best Buy get all the attention, just about every website has some sort of deal on Cyber Monday. So if there's a brand you like, visit the site directly for potential discounts or check their social media for promotions. I think the most important thing that consumers keep in mind is to take an informed approach. Uh, not every deal out there that's advertised as being spectacularly discounted is in fact really that well discounted.